John Hardister gives us his take on that surprise budget vote that caught Democrats off guard. He tells us why he changed his mind on Medicaid expansion and explains why he thinks voters in this district should send him back to Raleigh. Hardister says he's helped his party get North Carolina back on track, using tax cuts to help businesses and attract jobs. Yep. The number one accomplishment is the economy. Uh, when I got elected, North Carolina's economy was in really bad shape. Over 500,000 new jobs have been created since 2013. Hardister says under Republican leadership, North Carolina has seen a budget surplus for five straight years. One issue Republicans have not been able to work through is Medicaid expansion. You had a change of position on Medicaid expansion this past year. Can you tell us why you changed your position? Yeah, I think it's important for any elected official to, to keep an open mind and to listen. Artisa says lawsuits filed in other states against a work requirement linked to Medicaid expansion and something that North Carolina Republicans want convinced him to change his mind. I thought North Carolina should be very careful, we probably should hit the brakes and make sure we do it right. However, Hardison says he's philosophically opposed to expanding Medicaid. I still believe in a free market, and I think if you have a free market, you've got to have a situation where insurance companies can provide coverage at an affordable cost. Is more government going to lower cost? I'm not so sure it will. It is so typical of the way you conduct yourself. How dare you, Mr. Speaker? We asked Hardister about the surprise budget vote in the House last September. Did you feel comfortable with how that was handled on your, your party side? Yeah, I did. It, it, it was not planned. I had no idea that was going to happen. The House Majority Whip says he was surprised that so many Democrats didn't show up. He blames a miscommunication between the two parties. When you heard, though, that the Democrats, at least they claimed that uh, they were told there'd be no vote that morning, do you think that your party should have at least held it up or not? It's, it's tough to say. I mean, we thought it was important to get the budget passed, and in the heat of the moment, we didn't know why so many Democrats are absent. So it, it was a judgment call. Um, I think it was the right thing to do. Artister will face Alan Chapel in the GOP primary. The winner takes on Nicole Quick, the Democrat, in November. In Guilford County, Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.